Crazy Mike, crazymikesapps.com, with an iPhone app demo for Slideshow Plus by Shenzhen SakiSoft Company. This application is in the photography category and works best on an iPhone or iPod Touch, currently selling for only $1.99. There is an iPad version called Photo Slideshow Director HD that sells for $2.99. We are demoing this application on an iPhone 4S. This application lets you quickly create dynamic photo and music slideshows right on your iPhone and once exported, they can be shared with friends on YouTube and Facebook or viewed on a high definition television. Let's go ahead and look at this as the opening screen for a new slideshow. We'll come back to that in a moment. You can start a new slideshow or video by tapping on either one of those arrows or categories. We'll go into my old projects or back to my project. I'll tap on the middle one and it pulls up. The player is here to view it before you send it or export it. Down here you have your timeline where you can manipulate everything and I'll show you that in a moment. But We're gonna tap on the play button here and get an example of how this looks. Took me about three or four minutes to create this quickly using some images off of my camera roll and a song off my iPod. There are 60 different transitions that you can select from. Transition effects that is. Uh, all sorts of cool features in this application. Now, I can tap on this Rubik's Cube looking thing and it's going to pull up um, all the other transition effects. You have a random uh, that you can set, you have 3D transitions, color blends, uh, slices and boxes, and various masks. And you can scroll through here again, over 60 to select from. Easy to do. If I want Mask 8, boom, Mask 8 goes there. Now another feature in here is wherever the clip is at or wherever you want to start at, tap on that box and it pulls up an editor. And you have a lot of options here. Tap on the paper and you can change some things about the slideshow, such as the text. You can change the size of the font, the font itself, the color of the font, as well as the background. We'll cancel out of there. Uh, scroll back here. I currently have that. That is the generic or main background theme you're going to get. Now we'll go back here again. Tap on the subtitle and this is what you get there. Again, some different items to change that out. You can move your, your, your pictures forward or backward with this or all the way to the end or all the way to the front. Tap on it again and we also have a garbage can and we have this here which is pan and zoom effect. You can set that how you want it. Now you have your categories down here to input the media such as your photos, your music as well as a theme. I'll show you that in a moment. When you're done with this tap on export and you can send it out to HDTV, your photo library, YouTube or Facebook and they have a, uh, a very high speed and great quality export feature in this application. It works very fast and your video, your music video or your slideshow is going to come out in very high quality. Now if we tap on photo library, it'll pull up the three different quality settings you can send this as including HD. To use this um, on an HDTV, you're going to need an Apple digital AV adapter or an Apple VGA adapter, but you can play it right on your TV that way, which is a neat feature. Up in the upper right you have a couple of items. You have a cog which has showtime, transition, and repeat options. And you also have a synchronized music option that you can check out there. Now let's go back out here. We select a new slideshow. You tap on photos and you can take photos into the new slideshow from Facebook, Flickr, Picasa using your camera to take new ones or you can take them from your camera roll or photo stream. I'm going to go ahead and grab them from my photo stream and we'll grab a pumpkin. Um, we'll grab a freaky crazy mic head and we'll grab another pumpkin. We'll add those and bam, they're added into my quick new slideshow. Um, I can again change out the beginning or add a, a, an intro screen, uh, but we'll cancel out of there. The transitions are cool. I can change this to a door opening. I can change this to a exchange and slide over here and change the last one to uh, move in out. And then to add music, just tap on music. You have these different uh, ways to sort the music that you want. Tap on song. I have quite a few songs on in my iPod. Takes a moment. You can scroll through these alphabetically. They start with numbers first. We'll use Abracadabra from Steve Miller. And there's a theme selection, which again, 
lots and lots of, of things to edit out and make your new slideshows and music videos really pop. And you can scroll through here and see all the different things. I'm going to do the colorful blur. Now I can go ahead and play this. The open door transition, next transition, and then the final transition at the end. And that is how fast you can make a slideshow. It's li literally that quick. I could share that now to Facebook, YouTube, or to my camera roll, as well as HGTV. That is a very cool application. That's Slideshow Plus. Until next time, this has been Crazy Mike from Crazy Mike's Apps, saying see ya.